Hello, welcome back. Um, I know uh, I always say it's been a while. It's been a while. Welcome back. Got a little sketchbook tour on the docket for today. I'd um, like to take a moment to do a little bit of house cleaning, as they say. Um, just a friendly reminder, uh, Red Pants, not quite there yet, on vinyl, uh, through Meritorial Records, still available. Um, you can stream it anywhere. And the vinyl you can get on our Bandcamp, or you can get it on MeritorialRecords.com. Uh, I also have a couple of uh, little uh, zines, the last zine left um, from a, uh, a, I don't know, a little while ago, I think uh, probably late summer, uh, put this out. And uh, there's a couple of copies left. It comes with a little three-inch CD. It's got some demos on it. And then, um, yeah, other than that, Elsa and I are playing a couple of shows in uh in the springtime, the first one will be March 23rd. We'll be playing playing soon, so that's exciting. And um, and so let's get to the sketchbook tour. Okay, this one is uh, <clears throat> still my my favorite, uh, Stillman and Burn. This is just like a what, like a five by seven inch or something. Um, uh, it started way back in August 2023, and then just finished uh, the other day. Um, so I did take a long break, which you'll see. Um, this is, you know, I'd like to just sort of do something on the first page. A lot of, a lot of people are scared of the first page. I like to go in full, full strength. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Full steam ahead. How about that? And, um, so this is just a little silly thing. Um, I figured out a little technique of, uh, putting a drop of paint down and then, going over with a brayer, like a block printing brayer, uh, to do these ovals, and those come up a couple of times here. Um, this is like a little masking tape thing that I attempted to use over here, but unfortunately it peeled a lot of the pencil and the pen off, but kind of also looked cool, so I kept it. And um, another quick little collage with some more ovals. The next couple of pages feature these uh, these pages that I ripped out of vintage uh, books, and um, also did a lot of that in the artwork for the album, whenever that came out. So this was done kind of shortly after that. Here, um, some tiny cuts for these tiny folks, and then yeah, that, that was. I mean, this was probably done like you know, like August or September, and I took the rest of the year just like not doing anything, and then. Um, this um, this was actually this is actually January second. So this was the first one, January first, the first thing I did of the year, and um, and then I think I went back and I painted over a drawing and just collaged on top. That's why it's kind of uh, kind of gross looking. <laughs> it's not because it's painted over a lot of black pen. Just these guys, and this um, I started out the you know I thought I'm going to do something every day and uh, at least a page a day for as long as I can go. And so I started out collage heavy, kind of just like get me going, get me back in the swing of things. This is a jelly roll print, and then I collaged on top of it. Um, more collage. Uh, this was the first time I did any drawing for the new year, I think. And it looks like the fifth and the sixth, so it took a while to finish this, these squiggle marks. Um, guy playing the guitar on top of a building. I love to put people on tops of buildings. I don't know why. It's just a fun thing. This, this guy, I imagine playing some guitar for this guy that's working on the pole. This was a fun little um, masking tape drawing exercise that I did with uh, kids that I work with. So. Um, they have their own sketchbooks. They did their own. This was uh, this was all me. Um, this was a um, blind contour uh, brush pen drawing. And then uh, first, what I'd say is a substantial drawing of the year. A gentleman out of an old, probably uh, like 1950s uh, magazine. It took a couple of days to finish. Um, probably my favorite collage of the uh, of the month of January. So this is another uh, little fun drawing exercise with uh, the kids that I work with, the, the mainly the four-year-olds. 
Um, and this was kind of, this was, <clears throat> so I, I lasted the first 10 days. Like I said, I was trying to do something every day. And so January 10th, and then I got sick with like a stomach bug and, and that led to other things. And I just was out of commission for like a solid week or so. And then, uh, and I've been back to it, um, I don't know, the last handful of days or so and, uh, going strong and getting back into the, the swing of the, with my contour drawings. Um, this one features, uh, some alcohol marker that I, I bought. Um, my 11 year old was interested in alcohol markers. And so I bought them a box of them and tried it out here and discovered how much they bleed through. It's kind of insane. Um, this is just a little collage. And then um, uh, more drawings to finish it out here. This one's probably my favorite spread. Um, unfortunately, I smeared a lot, which is like, ugh, such a bummer when that happens. But I think I could, you know, I can scan it and, um, cause I'll probably put it in the next scene that I make so I can scan it and clean it up. And then uh, this guy hanging out on the park bench with his uh, camera, um, kind of rushed it a little bit, but I think it turned out pretty good. I think I'm gonna draw him again, maybe bigger. It was kind of really hard to get in with the details and stuff cause it was so small. So I've got like another eight by 10 sketchbook going that I'm gonna put him in and do another one. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, a little sticker mule sticker and uh, these stickers, I got this batch of silly stickers for the kids that I work with. And so <laughs> I took the cassette tape and the TV cause they're like, I mean, they know what cassettes are because you know, they work with me, but anyway, um, I think that's it. Um, thanks for coming down to the basement. Thank you for checking this out. I hope everyone's doing well. Happy new year. Um, oh, I got some, a uh, fountain pen coming in the mail cause I've never tried that. So maybe I'll make a, another video sooner rather than later of, uh, my trials and tribulations of, uh, trying to work with a fountain pen. So stay tuned and, uh, we'll see you, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.